lying in a ditch. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. I can hear my phone ringing, but I can't get to it. I can hear cars pass me by. They can't see me. I'm unsure what's going to happen to me. I was always crazy about sport. I played soccer, Gaelic football, hurling, handball, whatever sport was taking place outside, I was usually in the middle of it. I was on the way to a soccer match and I'd lost control of the motorcycle and I'd hit the ditch and I hit a tree. The bike landed about 40 yards up from where I had gone into the ditch and the way it landed people actually thought that the bike was left there. An hour and a half passed until one guy decided to walk the ditch to make sure there was nobody in it and luckily enough he did because he found me lying in it and probably wouldn't be alive without him stopping. As a result of hitting the tree, I had broken four bones in my back, which damaged my spinal cord. I had broken four ribs, I broke my breastbone, my collarbone, I tore my aorta, I punctured a lung. I had four compound fractures in my right foot and fractures in my left foot. The first time I remember meeting a doctor was when he was there with his junior doctors visiting in the morning. And one of them had asked him about operating on my foot. And he had said, no, there's no point. He, you know, he's not gonna need it more or less. So that was the first time that it hit home that I was paralysed. As soon as I got on the bike the very first day, I fell in love with it. The whole sense of being outside, in the fresh air, working hard, and the sense of speed was a massive draw for me, and it gave me a great sense of freedom. Late 2010, it's when the focus really started and Paralympics Ireland came on board. When you're focused towards London, it's 24-7, 365. The first race for me was on uh, the 5th of September. And I remember waking up that morning and it was the first time I was ever nervous about an event. And I couldn't eat my breakfast. So I just wanted to get on my bike, get the warm-up done. And once I started that, I knew I was in good shape. The race itself, after one lap I was 20 seconds up and halfway through the second lap I was 10 seconds down and I ended up winning by 11 seconds. So it was a great sense of relief to get that first gold medal. I always believed that I would reach the top of whatever sport I played before my accident and after my accident. But I never imagined that it would lead me to represent Ireland around the world. Uh, to winning world championships and then to be lucky enough to win two gold medals at the London Games. Mm -hmm.